All right, I'm Joseph Newman, uh, and we're going to uh, have some young people here with us from North Texas University. This is Aaron. Diane's going to be hip assisting him. Uh, she's going to be a teacher, and Aaron's going to get the idea of the power it takes to even move the shaft of this seven and a half thousand pound motor. And Aaron's going to pick it straight up with one hand, straight over the shaft. Put your hand straight over it. Just, you're going to just do a curl. Go through. And you can see how hard that is, and that's good. All right, now what I want is your honest opinion. What do you think the chances are the current out of this battery is gonna run that motor? I'd probably say impossible by itself. Okay, okay, <laughs> all right, good. And that's what I want people to understand. It is impossible by conventional wisdom that this can happen. I'm Joseph Newman. Now, if you've already seen that I've got perpetual motion proof up on the internet, one person cared enough to send me some money after I did that. And it's never been done before in the history of man. Well, I'm gonna do something else to help open your mind like a crowbar in your mind. Now, what I've done is I've got these small batteries uh, and we got them all in series. It's gonna be over 700 volts that we're gonna run Big Eureka with. Now, what's important is that for 62% of the time, the power going into this motor will be off. And I'll show it to you from this point right here all the way around this commentator all the way to that point it will not fire it will only fire from this little point to that little point and from that little point to this little point and again on the opposite side from here all the way around here it will not fire showing you 62 percent of the time the power is cut off going into this seven and a half thousand pound motor and it's impossible for it to run smoothly like you will see and run this ABS pump that takes 10 horsepower to run it, 7,460 watts. And I've told y'all, Big Eureka runs it like it ain't spit because I can hook it on there and it runs basically the same RPM when I take it off of there. Showing you it ain't paying that pump a bit of attention. That's why I reduced the power into it so it'd be like a crowbar in your mind because to try to do this in your, on your car, get up on a hill and, and, and take your foot off the accelerator for 62% of the time and watch how quick you'll put it back on there. No conventional motor can you run that way. Big Eureka produces so much power, I can do it. Showing you, not only is it perpetual motion, but it produces a phenomenal power at the same time. So with that, we're gonna get into it. I'm gonna start cranking this up and then we'll kick it. Checking the voltage. The voltage is 751 volts. One hundred and forty-eight revolutions a minute. the velocity that that water shoots out of that pump. And you can tell that's a lot of power. You can see the velocity that's coming out of it. And that's almost a tenuous flow coming out of that pump. You don't ever stop flowing. It changes the degree of flow from fast to real fast. There's a big volume when it gets real fast. The volume gets real big. That's the power. That diameter of that pump in the back is a foot in diameter. It takes over 1,000 pounds of pressure to lift that. And that machine runs that pump like it ain't spit. Over 7,460 watts. And we got the power off 62% of the time. I just wanted y'all to see it. Go back to the water again so they can see it. And we're gonna let it continue to run for an hour. And they'll be pumping that water all the time. Thank you. We're going to 751 to 750.9, 6.8.9, and then it goes to 751 again. Now you can tell the battery voltage was about to fall to 753 and then 750 before. Okay, 
That's the 303. And we just checked the voltage for the second time. That's about 30 minute run. I'm not sure we caught the first thing. But anyway, that's it. 327. You see it's still pumping water after we disconnect it. And that's what happens all the time. And I'll check the both these right quick. Seven hundred and sixty volts. After that hour run, showed the generators charging this while we run it. Now this will change your world, and the rest of the people should be behind it. We only got ten, ten minutes of this, but we got. The other side up showing perpetual motion. This is perpetual motion. There's no way you can do this. You got 7,000, over 7,000 watts of power load on this machine. The power is off 68% of the time. It only fires when it's right here. Just off this right here. And there's the brush right there. If I can get it to stop there. And if I take the input voltage, well, made contact again. I have to get it past it where it's off. That's where it wants to come to rest. I hold them. Alright, I'll hold it on the off position. You can see that's connected over here. I don't have it on all the way across because I can't reach across and hold this at the same time. But when I hit this, watch it won't run. And I'm making contact. You know, I'll snap it on it. And it still won't run. Now, if I take and let it get on this spot, Get right past that point right there. Now I'm gonna just touch a little bit of voltage. I ain't gonna hold it because it makes it jerk too fast. It'll get right off of it. You see what it does. You heard that back spike. Show me. That back spike is greater than the input power, and everybody saw it on this, all those scientists saw it on the oscilloscope that y'all hadn't paid any attention to. This will change y'all's world. It'll run cars, automobiles, ships, every device that's made. That's why the power brokers have fought me so much. But what y'all should keep in mind, and I kept telling y'all, the power brokers don't want you, the people, to stand up and wake up and get behind it. Now, I've done this test. I've reduced the power by 62%. Going into it, it's off. Go up a mountain. Take your foot off your gas pedal 62% of the time, and right quick, you'll hold it down constantly. That load is on there all the time. It's like you going up a mountain, and the motor pays it no attention. It produces so much power. It's like Dr. Swimmer tells you on the internet. When I ask him, tell these people what would happen if you turned this up to 10,000 revolutions a minute. He doesn't hesitate. It'll run a city. You, the people, should get behind this. Send money to this address that you can to Joseph Newman at this address that you'll see here. And I'll produce this in every country in the world. I'll make every country in the world energy independent of every country in the world. And I've always said to do more to bring world peace peace and all the kings and queens and politicians who have ever lived. Thank y'all. That's it.